Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. It is fall, which means that it is pumpkin season and I'm here with a popular fall recipe and that is pumpkin muffins. So I just have my main ingredients here. So without further ado, let's get started. Now guys, you can find the full list of ingredients in the description box below and let me know if you try this recipe. So we're starting out with two cups of flour. I have quarter cup granulated sugar. I have a quarter cup of brown sugar. I have one tablespoon of all spice, also known as pumpkin spice. I have one tablespoon of cinnamon and a pinch of salt. Now this step guys is completely optional. I just thought it was perfect for the fall season and that is a half a cup of pecans, half a cup of raisins and a quarter cup of flax seed. Trust me, this is gonna make your muffins so much more delicious. Next, we're gonna be adding our baking powder. So we actually have a half teaspoon of baking powder. And then after that, I'm gonna go ahead and throw in a quarter teaspoon of my baking soda. You don't wanna use too much of this because it can be extremely overpowering to your recipe. So don't add too much of the baking soda. So I want you to go ahead and incorporate your dry ingredients, guys. You're not in my kitchen right now, but let me tell you that this already started to smell so so good because of the nuts I am a big big fan of nuts especially in banana breads and pumpkin based recipes and so I just had to go for it in this one here you see me with actually two large eggs already whisked I'm gonna go ahead and add two tablespoons of vanilla extract this is gonna make your pumpkin muffin have so much flavor so much spice because vanilla always gives pumpkin based recipes a kicker of course we're gonna be adding the star of the show and that is our pumpkin puree if you don't know how to make pumpkin puree i've attached a card on the top right hand corner of your screen where i made cream of pumpkin soup and you will see how i actually roasted my pumpkins some persons prefer to steam their pumpkins but i prefer to roast mine because it has a different flavor if you know what i mean the oven gives it that nice roasted flavor if you're not too picky about that you can go ahead and steam your pumpkin and just take the flesh out and mush it mush it mush it or you can just throw it in the food processor to get that creamy texture like what I have here so now I'm just gonna mix my eggs and my pumpkin puree together and then once I'm finished with that we're gonna throw it into our dry ingredients So guys, let me be completely honest with you. Fall is not necessarily that popular in the Caribbean. For one, we do not have a fall season. Our trees don't change and we don't really practice a lot of fall recipes. However, I've always been a big fan of pumpkin spice and pumpkin based recipes and the cinnamon and just all of the delicious food that comes with the season. And so I just had to come on YouTube and give you guys this recipe. And let me tell you guys, it isn't in the oven as yet, but it smells absolutely scrumptious. I felt like I was traveling in a different country, experiencing the yellow and the orange leaves falling from the sky with a nice pumpkin spice latte. By the way, guys, if you've tried pumpkin spice latte, let me know in the comment section. I'm yet to taste it, but I think I'll be making it in my next video because as I said, I've always been a big fan of fall and I really, really want to just experience that fall experience with all of the delicious dishes but anyways enough talk about me here you see me incorporating my wet and my dry ingredients guys and ooh, it smells so so amazing Guys, if you do have a cake mixer, feel free to use it for this step. I unfortunately don't have one. Hopefully, hubby will gift me one this Christmas. Hint, hint. <laughs> Anyways, I had a great idea to add some almond flavoring to this because usually with like banana or pumpkin based recipes, almond flavoring always does the trick so i added about five to six drops next you see me adding my butter so that's about six tablespoons of melted butter make sure it's cooled before you add it and then you want to just stir that in there if your recipe looks a little bit uh, soggy or a little bit on the 
wet side you can just go ahead and sprinkle a little bit of flour but don't worry I've already adjusted the recipe after making this video so while I added 1.5 cups in the video I want you guys to go ahead and add two cups of flour because I did go ahead and add my butter and the mix was a little bit loose for me now guys fun fact I actually ran out of cupcake cups but this is how it's looking before and this is how it's looking after I used parchment paper which kind of turned out pretty cool because I could actually peel it off the muffin and take some really bomb pictures guys they were so delicious as always thank you guys for watching the videos I'll see you guys next week and happy fall guys bye